Hello and welcome to Madrid Direct. Our guest today is Mario Eugenia Giron from Instituto de Empresa. We'll talk about the premium and prestige industry, the key trends that will move the sector in the coming years, and the last edition of the Sustainable Luxury Awards. Maria Eugenia Giron, the Executive Director of the Premium and Prestige Observatory. Uh, thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be able to introduce you to Premium and Prestige Observatory at IE Business School. What we do is applied research to understand better the premium and luxury industry and to measure, to measure in an industry where there is not a lot of research and a lot of measurement. Mm -hmm. In the past few years, we've heard a lot of talk about the booming of the uh, luxury industry. Um, why is it growing so much globally? It's good news that the industry has been growing. Um, it's actually, the fact is that it has been growing since we have been measuring it. It was only in year 2009, after the financial crisis, that it had a, a slight uh, decrease. But the data that we have already for year 2014 is that the industry has grown 4% over 2013. And the, uh, what are the sources of growth? We have done some research through the observatory. We have uh, in something that we call the barometer. And we have tried to identify what are the key issues that are impacting the industry and are driving its growth. And the three themes that are interesting is, uh, are related to um, building an experience, the importance of creating experiences, also the digital, the importance of integrating digital into the strategy of luxury and premium brands. And the third element is attracting millennials. And these three elements, which are all linked together, are driving on one hand the growth of the industry and on the other hand are the three most important issues in the mind of luxury executives today. Mm -hmm. Very recently you organized the fifth edition already of the uh, Sustainable Luxury Awards. Uh, what kind of companies have been, have been awarded this, this time? We, uh, organ we decided to create this award to recognize entrepreneurs that have been developing projects in the field of premium and prestige with a sustainable and socially responsible point of view. And we did this because we wanted to give visibility to these initiatives. Uh, be, besides the award, what we also give out is some honorary recognitions to brands and institutions in the luxury arena that have been working in this dimension. Too. So this year, which is as you said, the fifth edition, the award on the award to entrepreneur in uh, sustainable luxury in the category of apparel went to a project called Knitbrary. The award in the category of cosmetics was for a UK brand called De Mamiel, an amazing, very interesting brand. And the third one, which is in the category of hospitality, was for a hotel in the Equatorian um, rainforest, which is called Mashpi Lodge. We also gave uh, honorary recognition to Tiffany, Tiffany and Co. that has been doing a lot of, has taken a lot of initiatives to be to drive sustainability into the jewelry into the jewelry industry. Recognitions of former editions have gone to the Spanish brand Loewe for the uh, report they have done on sustainable uh, development. And the year before was for the Brazilian brand Osclen. So, uh, and we are already preparing next edition, which is going to be the sixth. After all these years of work in, in these uh, awards of to sustainability, you, you edited a book telling the stories of these pioneers of sustainable luxury. Uh, I think you're already working on the second edition of this book. What will, what will we find in, 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 in the second edition? 
we felt that the stories of entre these entrepreneurs were so inspiring and there was so much to learn and we wanted to give visibility to what they were doing as a way to of supporting them but also as a way of inspiring others so the first edition of this book of this book about pioneers included the story of nine of them from different parts of the world the uk spain Argentina, uh, France, and we are preparing the next edition, which is going to include the story of nine other pioneers. And, and we hope we will publish very a lot of these books, showing these amazing stories that uh, will drive the interest of so many people who are interested in this field now. Mario Eugenia Giron, thanks very much. Thank you. That was it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next edition of Madrid Direct.